G'day and welcome to City Skylines 1, we're back in Amity Bay, a modded Let's Play series. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome, all the links you could possibly need are down in the description below. So we're back in City Skylines 1 and last time we built this nature reserve which was such good fun. And now I want to turn my attention back to the shoreline of our bay here. And quite a while ago we built out Bridgewater here, but the idea was just to pack in mostly residential, it wasn't a tourist island, more for the locals. I'm so excited to start building out these islands and start connecting this all to the city as we get ready for our downtown build. We have this much bigger island over this side, and back in our very early plan in the first few episodes of our city build, we thought this would be an ideal spot for nightlife, the party island up this end, and then a mix of residential as well. Some luxury apartments or condos, and then probably more residential down the other end, as the island kind of tapers off. So I was checking the island out before we start building. We really need to do a bit of an infrastructure build to get road and mass transit in here, because it's gonna get pretty densely packed. So we want to make sure we've got public transport options hooked into the rest of our city and probably bring a highway over as well. We have one highway running right through the middle here, but I think these islands are big enough to take one out here, particularly because if we build an airport on this island right out here, again, this is going to need to be connected up with road, rail, metro, that kind of thing. So to do this, I think we can run our highway through our planned downtown area, and if we decide to kind of move it around when we come to that, that's cool. But that way we're bringing it through from that side, and then we can hook it up further down the southern end. We also want a rail hub in here somewhere, so we can put that in as well and start to rejig our rail networks to all terminate there. Then back over here we have a shipping lane running through here and I really don't want a big bridge over these islands, I think it would just detract from the beauty of them, particularly when we build our beachfronts, high rise condos, hotels and really go to town. I think a massive bridge smashing through the middle is probably not ideal. So I have a bit of a plan for what we can do instead, so let's get to it and we'll see what you think.
Okie dokie, let's see what we've got here. So starting down here, we had a plan all along to have a train station where a lot of the passenger lines would terminate on the edge of downtown. So I've gone in with the glass box transport hub here and that gives us 6 train lines, 12 platforms and then an overground metro line as well there. For now I've just hooked it into the metro line we had which finished at the copper bowl to get it completed and we can change this up when we build this area out. But all the train lines are hooked in and sorted now which is great. Two of these rail lines are for our islands, one for the airport build and one to service the other islands. So they swing around this way. I plopped down a metro monorail train hub here. I did have the bigger one down first but it's too much I think. But I want a monorail because I then want to use the harbour bus monorail hub for cruise ships which I think will look super cool. We can join our monorail to that and also it gives me an excuse to use some of these newer transport hubs. We got around the time of the sports venues and shopping malls DLCs. I've gone in with an elevated interchange here as I like the idea of an elevated highway skirting downtown. So this joins our existing one here and also on the other side creates an opportunity to connect it down there as well. Then on this end, down into a tunnel before coming out in our crossing here. As you'll have seen in the time lapse, I check the shipping lanes and then create this rocky elevated part here where the highway and rail sink underneath and I love the way that it turned out. The rocks really drive home that this is man-made, it's not natural at all. Then along the lip of the side that faces into the channel here, we're using our airfield prop lights to guide the ships through so they don't crash off the rocks. I'm no maritime expert but I do seem to remember that usually one side is green and one side is red depending on the sides but let's just use our imagination. <laughs> and now we have this highway and rail connection ready to start building this island out which is super. Well, that's it for this video, don't forget to subscribe so don't miss out on the next one. If you're on Discord, jump over to our Discord community and say g'day, there's a link below. But until next time, take care, have a great day and thanks again for watching.